Kia ora koutou, Tim Bunting, the Kiwi Yamabushi here, ki te peha koe. how are you doing today? So I was looking on YouTube for interesting videos about the Yamabushi and I came across this video, the Yamabushi, a Japanese mountain cult. And I had to ask myself, wait a second, am I in a cult? Unwavering support and obedience to our Yamabushi master. Incessant chanting to celestial beings for hours on end. A philosophy that is all about acceptance to the core. I guess on the surface I could see why the Yamabushi could be considered a cult. However, I wasn't 100% sure on this, so I asked my good friend Miriam Webster for a definition. Here's what she said. The essential meaning of a cult. A small religious group that is not part of a larger and more accepted religion and that has beliefs regarded by many people as extreme or dangerous. A situation in which people admire and care about something or someone very much or too much. A small group of very devoted supporters or fans. So let's see if the Yamabushi of the Dewa Sanza fall into any of these three categories. Not part of a larger and more accepted religion. Well, Yamabushi follow what's called Shugendo, the knowledge gained on the path, door, of divine natural powers, Gan, through ascetic practice, Shu, an ancient belief which combines the doctrines of Shintoism, Buddhism, Taoism, and native Japanese animism or nature worship. Officially, since Shugendo is a combination of religions, it does not have its own unique doctrines. This means that Shugendo is not actually classed as a religion in and of itself. However, Shugendo is indeed part of a larger and more accepted religion. Strictly speaking, Yamabushi practice Shugendo through either a Shinto shrine or a Buddhist temple, generally of the Tendai or Shingon esoteric Buddhism sect. In fact, the Dewa Sanzan has both Shinto Yamabushi such as myself who practice through Dewa Sanzan Shrine and Buddhist Yamabushi who practice through Shōzen Kōgane-do and Kōtakuji temples. If we were indeed a cult, I am not sure you are allowed to choose allegiances like this. Beliefs regarded by many people as extreme or dangerous. Honestly, I cannot deny this part. Yamabushi do in fact take part in some extreme and dangerous practices. For example, I have been on top of Mount Gassam and looking below, I could see a thunderstorm. We actually walked through the thunderstorm and I remember the rain coming sideways and really stinging my face. We also climb on snow for hundreds of meters at a time. I've seen someone there stick. If you drop it, it just slides really fast down the mountain and that could be a person if you're not careful enough. We also do waterfall meditation. If you don't time it right, if you go a little bit too early, sometimes big blocks of ice come down and they could kill you. So it can be extremely dangerous to be doing Yamabushi training. But the beliefs behind this, as Master Hoshino always says, it's about putting yourself into nature, sensing and then reflecting on what you sense. So it's all about learning from nature. It's a way to try and better yourself to be able to help other people as well. However, there is one thing that Master Hoshino says that is a bit contradictory. The reason to do Yamabushi training is to do Yamabushi training. It's not for a particular person or thing. Which brings me to my next point. A situation in which people admire and care about something or someone very much or too much. There is a something that I think everyone would admire very much or perhaps even too much. And I think it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to say that this something is our master. A Yamabushi's job is to lead others into nature and let them learn for themselves. Nature is the teacher. Nature is the something that we admire or care about. We will now climb Mount Hagoro. We will now perform waterfall meditation. Whenever the master tells you to do something, you say uketamo and you do it. It is true that we follow these commands of the master as uketamo is all about acceptance. However, this is based on the premise that the master is showing you the best way to learn from nature. Master Hoshino is the first person to say this, but a Yamabushi's job is not to preach. They are not trying to control you. 
Yamabushi do not learn from books, they do not learn from word of mouth. They learn by going out into nature, and the master's role is to show us exactly how to do that. Master Hoshino is one of less than 40 people alive to have completed the 100 day Fuyunomine Winter's Peak Ritual. How else would he have gotten that awesome beard of his? In addition, Master Hoshino is one of the members of the Dewa Sanzan Shrine Board of Directors and he runs Daishowo Pilgrim Lodge, one of less than 30 remaining pilgrim lodges on Mount Haguro, which he has been running for more than 50 years now. So I can see why, from the outside at least, people think that we do have a central Yamabushi figure. However, for those who have actually spent some amount of time on the Dewa Sanzan, they would know that Master Hoshino is anything but a central figure. If we were to designate a central figure of the Dewa Sanzan who is still alive, that honor would go to the Guji, the chief priest of Dewa Sanzan Shrine, or the much more historically significant chief priest of Shōzenin Koganedo and Kotakuji temples, who have been leading Yamabushi trainings on the Dewa Sanzan for over a thousand years. If the Yamabushi were considered to be a cult, it would definitely be one of the third category. A small group of very devoted supporters or fans. It is true that we very much love and admire Master Hoshino. He has been an instigator of so much that irrevocably changed our lives. And although when compared to different religions, the numbers of followers of Shugendo is quite small. It is not exactly minuscule. Estimates put the number of Yamabushi at around 10,000. Getting into nature, learning from nature, appreciating nature. That's what it is to be a Yamabushi. You could also argue that Yamabushi training is part of everyday normal life, and also that the opposite is true, that everyday normal life is a part of Yamabushi training. For the purposes of this argument though, going away into the mountains for a few days on end, training in the austerities, and then coming back to your normal everyday life really does help you appreciate the mundane. This appreciation leads to Ikigai, the desire or the will to live well. I am a Yamabushi who follows Shugendo because it has given me peace in times of real strife. I was first invited to join the Yamabushi about a week after returning from my father's funeral. And becoming a Yamabushi really did help me with the grieving process. Not only that, but my mother has been suffering from a disease that is worse than cancer for a few years now. This has been a real spanner in the works for my family. However, being able to go out into nature and to learn how to appreciate nature has given me a great perspective on life and it has made me feel content in spite of all the things that are going on. Being a Yamabushi has definitely helped my life in a way that I wish to share with the world. I feel as if I owe everything to nature but I would not have felt that way if I had not become a Yamabushi. I am doing Yamabushi training of my own accord. If I really wanted to, I could quit tomorrow. However, that would leave me with a huge gap and I would be out of a productive way of dealing with life's struggles. Shugendo and Yamabushi is a really productive way at dealing with whatever life throws at you. Frankly speaking, calling the Yamabushi a cult puts off people who would otherwise benefit from what has been a life-changing experience for me. I know the creator of the video means well, but calling the Yamabushi a cult is doing a real disservice to what is one of the most unique and potentially beneficial parts of Japanese culture. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to join the cult of the Yamabushi, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Any member is welcome. I'm the Kiwi Yamabushi, Kakite Ano, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. However, 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 please don't forget to like and subscribe to the cult.